Shalom, 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 shalom. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with another video. I have made this video before and I feel there is a need to make it again. And not only will I do this quick video here, I will also go live on TikTok. Probably tonight or tomorrow, but I know real soon I will go on live because I want to bring this information out to those who do not know it. Because believe me, there is a lot that do not know what I am about to share. I have been witnessing people talk about um, whenever you see Lord in the to not the Old Testament. Um, they say that is referring to Yeshua, Yahabashai, to Jesus of the New Testament. That is how they interpret the text. They don't know an ounce of Hebrew set for probably saying Yahweh and Hallelujah. That's it. That's, that's the only Hebrew I really hear them speak. And it is it is troubling to hear them take scriptures out of context so it will appear to support their stance, to support their faith, their belief system. And from um, from my opinion, just being honest, I am not a Hebrew scholar, but I know enough Hebrew to know that they're out of line, that they're most of all, they're not even contextually following what the text say. Anytime you could completely overlook what the text is saying and then make it say something that it's not, it shows one, it shows two things. She might show more, but it shows you do not care what the texts say because your belief system outweighs the text. And the biggest thing of all it reveals, it shows your lack of fear. You are not in awe of the eternal one of Israel. And even with me saying that, to them, they interpret that to mean Jesus. When I say the eternal one of Israel, I am referring to the God of Abraham and the God of Abraham has a name and that name is recorded nearly 7,000 times in the scriptures. And when I say scriptures, I am not referring to the New Testament at all. The God of Abraham name is recorded in the scriptures nearly 7,000 times. And many people do not know this. And if they know it, they just choose to overlook it. So what they believe is brought to the forefront. Now, I'm only going to share two verses with you and I hope um, the things that I say will be clear it will be easy to understand it will not bring confusion so I pray that Jehovah will give me the words to say and I pray that Jehovah will open your ears to hear what the text is saying So let us go ahead and get into the scripture. This is Exodus chapter three. I'm going to read verse 14 and 15. I will be coming out of the King James Version and I will also be coming out of this translation, the Living Torah by Rabbi Copeland. So let us begin. This is Exodus chapter 3, starting at verse 14. 
Hallelujah. And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shall thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. And God said, Moreover, unto Moses, Thus shall ye say to the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, have sent me unto you, and this is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Let me read that again. Verse 14, Exodus chapter 3. And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shall thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. And God said, Moreover, unto Moses, Thus shall thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to say something that many of you probably, I'm sure have heard me say before. You might be getting tired of hearing me say it, but it needs to be said. In your English Bibles, such as the King James, when you see Lord in all caps, that is referring, that is actually where the name of the creator is in the manuscripts. In the Hebrew scriptures, that is God's name there. This is not referring to the name of the Mashiach. This is talking about the creator's name. Um, many people may know it better as saying the um, Tetragrammaton. That is the four letter name of God known as the um, Y-H-W-H or Y-H-V-H. Some say Y-H-U-H, but is referring to the four letter name of God. And many pronounce it saying Jehovah or Yahweh, Yahuwah, um, Yehovah, Yahuwah. I um, incline more to the pronunciation of Yahuwah. But this is talking about the name of the creator. It's not referring to the Christ of the New, um, the Christ of the New Testament, the one who you deem to be the Christ. It's not referring to him. And if you say it is, you are just simply taking the text out of context. You don't care what it say because you want to uphold what you believe over what the text say. Most of all, over what the creator is sharing with Moses. Now, here's the key thing I want you to see. And I want you to listen to what I'm about to say. Because this is a continual flow of the creator. I know in here we see it say, and God said moreover, but let me read it to you again. I want to show you something. This is a continuous thread by the creator. He is speaking to Moses. And this is what he said to Moses. I want you to hear this. And God said unto Moses, now listen to what he said. I am that I am. Thus shall thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. Thus shall thou say unto the children of Israel, Yehoah, God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me unto you. This is my name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generations. Now, there's many people that believed God revealed his name 
in verse 14. I know there's many that believe that. I am not one that believes that. I believe the creator revealed his name in verse 15, not 14. Now allow me to read 15 again. And God said, moreover unto Moses, now he is still speaking. Thus shall you say to the children of Israel, Yehovah, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me unto you. This is my name forever. The name of Yehovah is the name forever. He said, this is my memorial unto all generation. Throughout your generations, Yehovah is saying, this is my name forever. Now, allow me to read this translation here. The Living Torah by Rabbi Ira uh, Kaplan. I may be um, pronouncing his first name wrong, but it's Rabbi um, Kaplan. And it's, this is the Living Torah. And this translation is to me, awesome for this verse. And I want you to hear how this is read. Exodus chapter um, 3 again, 14 and 15. I will be who I will be, replied God to Moses. God then explained, this is what you must say to the Israelites. I will be sent me to you. God then said to Moses, you must then say to the Israelites, Yahuwah, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob sent me to you. This is my eternal name. And this is how I am to be recalled for all generations. Did you hear that? In the case you didn't allow me to read it again. I'm just going to read 15 because this is where I believe the creator is revealing his name and listen to what he says to Moses. God then said to Moses, you must then say to the Israelites, Yehovah, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob sent me to you. This is my eternal name. And this is how I am to be recalled for all generations. My brothers and sisters, Yehovah, the Holy One of Israel, the God of our fathers made it perfectly clear. When you think of him, you mention his name, you recall his name. But too many of us have suppressed his name have forgotten his name, have replaced his name with the name of the person in the New Testament who God forbid believe is God and they exalt his name forever as if it is the name of the Father. And as many people, like I say, on social media, mainly TikTok, preaching this doctrine that Jesus is the father. Jesus is the name of the father. And if you don't know this, you cannot have salvation if you don't know Jesus is the father. And whenever they see Lord in the Old Testament, in the Tanakh, in the Holy Scriptures, they say that's Jesus. That is reading completely out of context. And that is completely reading without no understanding. This stuff is easy to look up. This is easy to research. But many of them fall back on this. I call it a cop out. The spirit. The spirit told me. The spirit said to me. If the spirit is saying something to you that's contrary to this word. You, you're right. It's the spirit. And the spirit is saying something to you. But it is not the spirit of God. It's nothing holy about that spirit. That has you twisting the scripture. Manipulating the scripture to uphold your BS. And when I say BS, I mean your belief system. So allow me to read this again, because simply is 
clear as day what Yahweh was saying. And we need to grasp this and understand it. 14 and 15, Exodus chapter 3. I will be who I will be, replied God to Moses. God then explained, this is what you must say to the Israelites. I will be sent me to you. God then said to Moses, you must then say to the Israelites, Yehovah, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob sent me to you. And listen to this again, my brothers and my sisters, and to those of the nations that who desire to cling, to cling, to cleave, to hold on to the name of our God and to walk according to his way. This is my eternal name. Many people do not know what eternal means. Because it's pretty obvious they don't with the things they say. This is my eternal name, and this is how I am to be recalled for all generations. And to say throughout your generations. So my brothers and my sisters who say they have the blood flowing through their veins of our ancestors. This is the name that you are to call forever. This is the name you are to remember forever. Like I say, you may say Yahuwah, you may say Jehovah, you may say Yahweh. Uh, uh, I say Yahuwah. And there's other pronunciations that people have. But that's not the topic of this video. But the Holy One of Israel, the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has a name. He made his name clear. And no name under heaven is better than that name. No name under heaven will suppress that name, will replace, replace that name, will stand beside that name, will be equal to the name of Yah. Yah is the short poetic way of saying his name. Yahweh, Yah is the name of the creator. Many of you exalt the name of the Christ of the New Testament. Many of you, according to Paul, say that name is the name above all names. How is the, now you say he's the son of God. How is the son of God's name higher than? than the father. Explain that to me. My brothers and my sisters, it's time for us to repent, to turn from the folly, the foolishness, and repent. Return back to Yah and him only. And as I said before in other videos, when you return to Yah, when you return back to Yah, his Torah is included automatically. There's no way to have Yah without his Torah. It goes hand in hand. If you say you want to strive to walk upright before the creator, you have to walk according to Torah. You cannot say it's done away with. You cannot say it was nailed to the cross because Paul said it. I don't care what Paul said. I'm standing on the words of Yah that he gave to our prophets. And you cannot find not one prophet in the Tanakh saying that Yahuwah's name is not forever. You will not see not one prophet contradict what Yahuwah said about his name. You can't find one prophet that say his name will be replaced one day with a better name. Many of you follow Paul. And we just need to be honest and simple about that. Many of you follow Paul. Many of you don't even follow um, the one that you say is the Christ. You follow Paul more. And either way, that's not even my problem. That's yours. Because I am Yah only. And as it says in Ecclesiastes, we are the whole duty of man is to fear God, who is God, Yehovah, the Holy One of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we are to keep his commandments. That is the whole conclusion to the matter. This is your brother, Yael Ezra Ben Levy.
שלום.